Hello, Herman here with a video in which we will answer the question How does your browser recognize extended validation certificates? First, what are extended validation certificates? So many sites these days have an SSL certificate and most of them show here in the address bar a green secure logo, which means it's SSL encrypted. If you go to your bank, uh, in most cases what you will see is that it will not show secure, but it will show Bank of America Corporation or uh, ING Bank, uh, stuff like that. Um, and yeah, my big question is, how does your browser know this? And in the research, I ran into a page on uh, Wikipedia, um, which explains what it does. So. EV certificates basically are the same kind of certificates that all websites uses. It's just that during the request, the certificate authority does uh, additional investigation. So it yeah, needs to be sure that the requester is indeed uh, for the organization and not just has access to the website uh, domain name. So if that happens, uh, you will get an uh, EV certificate and yeah, that's still not answering the question uh, how your browser can recognize it. Uh, but the question is in the last part of the sentence. Um, it is that it will uh, put an additional identifier in your certificate. If we look up that extended validation certificate page on Wikipedia, we can see um, that there is down here a list of uh, all the identifiers. But let's have a look how that works in uh, real life. So. If we have our website uh, here, we first we need to have access to the certificate information. And thanks to Google, it's well hidden in uh, recent versions of Chrome. So in order to get to the certificate information, you need to go through the three dots, then to more tools, to the developer tools, or directly press Control Shift I to uh, get to that information. So either go here, more tools, developer tools, or just Control Shift I, you can switch it on, switch it off. Then you have all kinds of options here and you need to go to the security option. And because I last used the security option, um, it shows up here. And here we can do a view certificate. Um, and what we can see here, it's issued by the Symantec uh, EV SSL CA, uh, but it was more important um, and data that's missing in uh, the HPE certificate. So if we check the HPE certificate, you can see uh, these additional identifiers. So this just has the identity information. This one also has these two identifiers. And if we take this identifier and then remember the six and look up in this page, you can see that it has been issued by Symantec. And these identifiers, these are built into your web browser. So it's not that you can add or remove them. Um, it's just that your web browser has the, uh, these hard coded in the web browser. And that makes uh, how the web browser will show the nice uh, green information here. And uh, yeah, the information that's shown here that's taken from the so-called subject. And if you check in the so-called subject, you can see the organization that's first here. And also it shows here the country. So uh, between square brackets, it shows the country. So let's verify that uh, with another one. So this one, so we can press view certificate here. We can see here are other attributes. So this one is issued by Antrust. And if we look up this one, you can see it's Antrust. So this is also uh, built in in your browser. And here in the subject, you can see the organization and the country, which are shown here in the top. So it took me some time to look it up. So that's why I... Uh, put this in this video. I hope you really liked it. Um, if so, uh, press the like button below the video and put your comments also below this video. Uh, it will help us to make the channel better. 
Um, what also helps is if you subscribe to our channel because uh, then you will be notified if there are new videos available. So thank you very much for watching and hope to see you in another video.